Have you ever pondered the enigma of consciousness? What is it? Where does it come from and where does it reside? Is it a product of our neural networks firing away in our brains, or does it exist independently of us? The answers to these questions remain elusive, with no universally accepted scientific explanation to unravel the mystery of consciousness. However, recent advancements in understanding the physics, anatomy and geometry of consciousness have begun to shed some light on its possible form, hinting at a potential architecture of consciousness. Our journey begins in the 1990s with a groundbreaking theory put forward by Nobel Prize-winning physicist Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff. This theory, known as the Orchestrated Objective Reduction, or OR, suggests that consciousness is a quantum process facilitated by microtubules in the brain's nerve cells. But what exactly are these microtubules? Simply put, they are tubes made of protein lattices that form part of a cell's structural network, its cytoskeleton. According to Penrose and Hameroff, consciousness is a quantum wave that traverses these microtubules, possessing quantum properties such as superposition and entanglement. Superposition refers to the ability of a quantum wave to exist in multiple places simultaneously, while entanglement suggests that two particles, no matter how far apart, can be intrinsically connected. Despite its intriguing implications, the orco or theory has been met with skepticism, with many questioning its validity. Hameroff, in a recent explanation of quantum consciousness, suggested that it doesn't have a defined physical size and compared it to a fractal, a pattern that is infinitely complex and can be zoomed into or out of without losing its properties. In normal states, consciousness might simply mean awareness of existence. But in heightened states, it implies a quantum-level consciousness that can exist ubiquitously, entangling with quantum particles anywhere in the universe. For a long time, scientists dismissed this theory, as attempts to sustain quantum coherence only worked in extremely cold, controlled environments. The brain, being warm and rather uncontrolled, seemed an unlikely place for superposition to occur. However, the emergence of quantum biology has challenged this view. Quantum biology studies quantum processes in living organisms that facilitate biological processes beyond the subatomic level. For instance, during photosynthesis, plants use chlorophyll to store energy from a photon, a quantum particle of light. This process involves the formation of an exciton, which carries the energy to the plant's reaction center, navigating complex structures in the plant, much like finding your way through an unfamiliar neighborhood. In conclusion, the exploration of consciousness has been a long and winding journey, from early theories to recent breakthroughs. While the Orch or theory and quantum biology have provided tantalizing hints about the nature of consciousness, they are still subjects of intense debate. The quest to unravel the mystery of consciousness continues, as scientists from various fields work tirelessly to illuminate this enigma. The architecture of consciousness remains elusive, but with each passing day, we inch closer to understanding this profound aspect of our existence.